so she gets two and a, three and a, four and a, one. Now what I can do is a side batakata. Hey, Titus Brooks from here with a really great question about the batakata. What is the difference between batakata and the samba or the cha-cha? I'm gonna show you the difference and at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you my absolute favorite version of the batakata. Let's get started. What really is a batakata? Actually, it is a timing. So batakata is one and a, two and a. So you get one and a, two and a. You get a timing that's different. So that's really what defines the batakata. And really, once you know that, the sky is the limit from what you can do. You can do them aside, one and a, two and forward. You can do them back. You can add rondes, which is kind of a common one. You see that a lot in samba. So you can use it in cha-cha, you can use it actually in any dance. You can even use it in jive. One, a two, three, a four, and a five, and a six. You could put it almost anywhere as long as you do that double syncopation thing between one count and the next. So what is the real difference then between a cha-cha and a samba batakata? It comes down to the difference between cha-cha and samba, which is basically bounce. So if I did samba basic, I would actually get a slight lowering. Boom, 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 on the numbers, one, a uh, two, I get down on one, down on two. So you do the same thing, just down on the numbers. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four. One and uh, two, and just that slight lowering, so you're softening one and a little stepping on sponges and absorbing into the ground on the numbers. Bam, we got our batakata, and you can do it almost anywhere, wherever you want it to go. Now, what about in cha-cha? Well, in cha-cha, all you gotta do it's just keep it level. Don't go up and down with it. So two and a three and a four and a one. You can do it side, but two, three. It's actually really cool for say doing it in fan with a partner. Boom. I'm gonna do nothing. It's gonna be hard. Here we go. So she gets two and a three and a four and a one. Now what I can do is a side batakata, say we're here, four and one, and two, and a three and a four and a one. So just trying to keep it more level, as opposed to in, if it was a samba step. So let's say we're doing samba and we did a batakata that overturned. We just go down a little bit, and one and a down and a down. Not much down. Don't overdo it. That's enough. Boom, boom. Then you can go into like a, a swivel or something, and bam, bam, bam. Whatever you want to do. That's a batakata for you, and cha cha and samba. But go ahead, put it in your foxtrot or something. I don't know. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions. About dancing, please post a comment below. We're gonna get back to you, answer your question, make you world champion in five minutes. It'll happen. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to get updates immediately. Make sure you click the little bell right next to subscribe so you get that right away. I'm Ewan from Dancing Sanity. I'm Titus. Look forward to seeing you next time. Ciao.